Good morning everyone, so we're looking at a Casio vintage collection watch um, One over by its uh, sort of Tiffany ice blue star dial I thought I had to have a little look at it Falling down the sort of trap of getting a Tiffany blue dial at the moment um, So yeah, let's get on with it shall we So initial look at the box is uh, just a simple pull out star box Encased in a simple gloss like card Printed Casio top into it I'm not a big fan of that green interior that style green that's I don't like that very much disgusting color in my opinion but someone there's probably someone somewhere that likes that the simple card interior to hold that watch in place i'm never a big fan of how um casio make their sort of watches up in the box and stuff like that it's just i don't think it represents the best quality but then often the watches are well i say they're pretty good but they're the ones i reviewed i haven't seen the quality just yet um, so yeah, let's have a look at the watch inside. Simple pull-out cushion hold in a cheap style box. Simple fabric cushion. So here we go guys, this is the Casio Vintage. Uh, this has got a quite a long model number, so I'm not going to bother reading it out, but it's based on the um, 1980s AQ450 Casio. Feel free to Google that, I haven't done a review on that yet. But the uh, actual start of the model name for this is the AQ500. So, retails are £36, weighs 55 grams, it's not a, not a very heavy watch at all. Um, and uses a full digital and analog star movement, as you can see from the two split displays here. So let's have a look at the dial here. So the dial is a full Sunray Star Ice Blue dial, as you can see, as well as a digital chronograph down the alarm chronograph down here as well. So speaking of those functions, uh, the watch offers a calendar, a day day, a stopwatch and an alarm. Also comes with a three bar waterproofness and a two year warranty when you order it from Casio, I think, themselves. Mineral glass going over the top of that and an LCD display going across there as well. Obviously you can, you can adjust sort of the alarm and the coronas stuff from the side. Change your functions on the side here. More buttons as well. I'm not a big fan of digital watches, but I thought I'd give this one a review because of the colour of the watch. Again, very simple button system to use. That kind of answer, obviously, no, not so much a bezel on this watch as you might see, but a full stainless steel finish going all the way around here. Does feel quite light and quite tinny on this strap, but then, so yeah. Speaking of the strap, it's a 20 millimeter adjustable uh, buckle style strap. So let's have a look at that, um, those hand movements if I can. Oh, okay, this might be how you, you might have to set the time and it sets the watch for you because I can't see how I'm going to be able to adjust that. It's probably where I need to look at the actual instruction. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So there we go. I'm in chronograph mode. Mode, so it's five fifty nine. So you probably would have to set that. Let's see if we can. Do I have to hold it down? I have to read the instructions. I don't know. I don't know how to work that. Unless this is a reset button on the side here. Let's try that out. Oh, that's leaking, let's not use that. It's a pencil. Oh, my finger now.
I'll set the time to what it is now. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm not going to go away to 10 o'clock. It's the same today. There we go. So obviously that, uh, that little button there just resets those, those hands for you. They come in the back. Full line finish back plate on the back there. Just a little more information about the markings and the movement and stuff like that. Obviously made in China, but uses a Japan movement. So this strap is a, obviously a vintage style strap, hence the collection name. With a sort of sliding buckles, there's no need to remove links here at all. Basically you'd pull up one of these sides and then the buckle will slide up and down based on what how it would fit. So yeah, that's how that would work. So there we go guys, there's the Casio Vintage based on the AQ450.